What are you doing for the next eight years? Because I'm sensing that we become very much involved. You're way off on that, Sean. Do we have ups and downs? Mm -hmm. Sure, like anyone, but I can see it so clearly. Your corn silk hair nestled on this gentleman's shoulder, right in the crook. Oh, yeah, shake a leg. Never happening, Sean. Okay. It's your adorable when you're in denial. Excuse me, you're, you're my seat. Am I? Detective O'Hara. Can I get a name to work with? Juliet. Hey, Jules. All alone. Well, it's very nice to meet you, Juliet. Want to join? Well, not anymore, apparently. It's nice to meet you, too, Sean. You thought this place. I need to transfer to somewhere like Santa Barbara. I'm new to town, and I don't know many people. Oh, that'd be nice. Would be different. I'd probably be a detective by now. Nobody respects your opinions. Smarten you up. Uh, college? Yeah? Top your class, graduate early. Got it. They all think you're too young. Okay, do we know each other? Always. Always. Yes, you were the girl who stole my seat. I like the other girl better. You're new and pretty, so it's okay. Look how cute she is in the fuchsia. Sean, I don't care what anyone else says. The pink shirt is working. Not me. Don't go in the back room. Sean, this isn't a date, it's work. You're absolutely right, but hey. Then never ask a boyfriend if he thinks your sister's hot. You still got six minutes to ask me anything you want. I don't have a sister. How about a boyfriend? I wanted to clear one thing up. Kyle. Sean. Sean. Kyle. I don't take any stock. You and you. In those profile matching things we did the other night. Are a 100% match from your personality questionnaires. Jules, I was just messing around. Sean. <laughs> I smell love. Well, good. Because um, I don't want there to be any weirdness between us, and it seems like we're going to be working together a lot. Jules, that's your cue to cackle. Sean, I don't have a cackle in my repertoire. Well, you call for this secret meeting. We should use code speak in case people listen. It's not secret, just away from prying eyes. All the time. Excuse us, may we help you? Hey, guys. I need a psychic to read the sorority house. Can you come by tonight? Can we wear pajamas? No. Even better. Why mess around with the worker bees when you can kill the queen? You're a champion. Now go out there. Catch us a killer. Alice, she wanted us all at that party, including us, so that she could get Mary Lou by herself. This is Silence of the Lambs. Please be careful. I got it. I got it. That's how we do it. Work style. Yeah. Horoscopes are supposed to be vague. Dude, it's Jules. Libra. So that people can interpret them to mean whatever they want. She could be bleeding and in a ditch. She's not bleeding. She could be in a ditch. She's not in a ditch. She could be lonely and in a shower. She has a shower phone. I certainly hope so. You're one true love. Marry me, Juliet. Yours are all way too specific. Lilacs in a meadow. I wasn't going to say anything, but I wrote them with specific people in mind. I had a vision of us being married. We'll be wearing sneakers and an Apple Jacks t-shirt. <laughs> I know it's probably this <laughs> undercover thing we're going to do, but... Sean, what are you doing? Nice shirt. Thanks. Nothing. It might have been a vision from our future. Because if you're doing what it looks like you're doing, it's going to be one of those things we were just talking about. What's that? It was a mistake. A mistake. That's what friends are for. I agree, but Jules, you want to spend more time with me? You don't have to trump up some case. That's clearly not what we're doing. Just pick up the phone, give me a call, say, Sean, I'm here, I've got 20 pops. I call it very close talking. I'll keep that in mind. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I need to get into the holiday spirit before my family arrives. Oh! Should I meet him or is it too soon? Too, too soon, soon for, for what? what? Nothing. Pretty much perfect. I got prints off a key piece of evidence I found here. She knew just what to do with it. She got him when she wasn't busy kicking ass. Oh my god. Is there somebody here? You want a date? So what is this? What am I seeing here? This is the uh, returning footwear to a friend outfit? This will be a couple skate. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just, uh... Oh, Cameron had to cancel tonight. Couples only. I didn't know if you'd be hungry, so I just I threw something together quickly. Come on. Sean. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you kids. But you gave it a real shot. A fair shot. Sean, I'm seeing him tomorrow night. I know that things between us have been a little complicated. Hey, uh, have, you, have, you, uh, have you eaten? No. Nope. Well, I can't offer anything as fancy as uh, Mario's, but what do you think of a ballpark Frank and stroll on the boardwalk? 
and that there have probably been some mixed signals, mostly from me. Don't worry, it was way before I knew you. Well, why would that matter? It might. It doesn't. It could. It won't. That's right. It's real. Feel free to drink it in. With regards to the time that we spend together outside of the line of duty. That level of pinpoint marksmanship from you is easily one of the sexiest things that I've ever... Sean. Shh. What I'm saying is that I think maybe the best things... I was thinking of letting him know that I'm uh, available. How about dinner? Mm -hmm. You and me. What do you think? Well, I mm, don't know. The richest things. I don't want to get in the way. Get in the way? Is there a problem? No. No, there's no problem. Aren't supposed to come easily. I like her. And I think you two will get there. And that sometimes the moments that make the most sense happen when everything else doesn't. Are you an O'Hara? You no, know, an item? Because she seems to talk about you an awful lot. Really? Well, uh, what does that even mean? Good luck, Sean. I think you deserve more than popcorn tonight. All right, Hitch. You want me to take a chance, huh? You want to see some Will Hunting action? Detective O'Hara, are you asking me out on a date? I am. Who are you calling? Juliet? That routine is as tight as the waitress beat. All this time, and <laughs> your timing is just awful. What's happening here is, uh, I'm asking you out on a, on a proper date. I can't go to dinner with you, Jules. I'm already on a date. Are you sure about this? Yes. I believe I am. With Abigail. The one that got away. Sean. Yes? Don't you think it's odd that you're in a relationship now? She's not gonna wait forever. Well, yet you invite me to maybe the most romantic place on earth. Hi, Jules. You look... I refuse to feel uncomfortable around you. Normal and stuff. You mean too much to me, and... and I'm perfectly capable of keeping this... platonic. We can still talk. As friends. As long as you are. I know that. Oh, please. I can. I think that everybody who's looking for a soulmate... Well, I can too! Um, this is... But how? May at one time feel that there are outside forces conspiring against them. I know you! I met you at our high school reunion. Yes! Yes, you did. Sean, what are you doing? It wasn't a curse. We were gonna make her an incentive. I don't like this. Since the attacker's only pattern is to keep you from finding love. You don't like Juliet dating somebody. We've been at this little charade for three weeks and it yielded a grand total of nada. Fake dating. You're right. I have another idea. Raj, you want to get married? You risked your life for a random co-worker. <sighs> I think I understand. No, she's not random. One more thing. Of course, Sean. What is it? It's because of Abigail. Did Abigail move in? What? No, this is Sean, remember? Right. Say it. I had to tell Juliet that I loved her. I love you. The weird thing is... Uh, Sean. I think she was about to say it back to me. I think that I... Goodbye, Abigail. I am sure that your girlfriend appreciates you using her as a tactic to scam information. Gold star, Sean. Really. What is he doing here? Why is he in Santa Barbara? That's it? That's your theory, that he's in town? Now that I'm thinking of it, I was also wrong to accuse your brother. He has an arsenal of weapons in his pants. Sean, you know, you might just try to mask your obvious jealousy for you and... What's more, I really mean it. I'm sure you do. I really hate that I was right. Me too. But it's not that easy this time. I've got some good news, bad news on this Scott Siever fellow. Bad news is he's dead. What? It was her boyfriend, Sean. Her college boyfriend. What? Wow. Sean, I actually feel better. Thank you. That makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay, that's, that's probably enough of that. Now that you're single, you're doing all the things Abigail wouldn't let you do while you were dating. You nailed it. What's up with you? Oh, I'm actually meeting this guy for coffee. You mean like a, like a date? 
I guess you could call it that. Well, what if we didn't? Jules, what's going on? Sean, don't come any closer. I think you just had a life-changing experience, Gus. Idiot! There isn't enough here to help anybody! I know one thing. If the cure is out there, Sean will stop at nothing to find him. I mean, Jules, I mean, all this time, right? We talk, we do our thing, and, I, and I'm like, you know, if something's supposed to happen between us, it'll happen, just boom, like magic beams coming down on me. But the truth is, my God, she could die today. Juliet, you don't have the Thornburg virus. And, and she would never know how I feel. But uh, I, I still want to say what I was going to say, if that's okay. Sure. I don't want to miss out on the prize. What are you trying to say, Sean? We can't have our cake and eat it, too. So I'm doing you a favor here by forcing you to choose. Who do you care about more? I don't know. Sean! My hands are on my face. Please come quick or this could be messy. Sean, you can still save Abigail! It's Jules. We know where she is. We follow Lassie. We save Juliet. Should you Abigail? On the pier. I think I know where she is. Let's go get her. No, no, no. Uh, I could be wrong. You go with the chief. You, you help Lassie. Sean, you're not going alone. Gus, the only way that I cannot be there for Juliet is if I know that you are. We got it. It was close, but we got it. She's okay. Don't you think it's time you got back up on the horse? Uh, thank God. It's a temporary reassignment. It's pretty common for cops when they experience something traumatic. I know the whole yin thing was difficult for everybody. I'm just not cut out for this. It's okay. But at this point, it just feels like you're hiding here at this giant post office. This city hall. I just... Really? Need a little time. No, I need to find your partner. Oh, I'll do it. I may have needed a kick in the pants to get going. I am itching to get back out into the field, even if it means babysitting Sean. You didn't give up. And I'll never give up. Should we hug? We could. Well, then let's call her in and see what she's hiding. What? Sorry. Oh. There you are. Rain check. We don't deal in hunches. We. I'm sorry, Sean, but... Thank you for agreeing to meet me. Sure. What do you say the two of us take it? Take it for a little spin? It's over. It's still evidence, Sean. You know you want to. No, no, I really don't. It was fun while it lasted. No, it wasn't. We made a great team. No, we didn't. It was a disaster. Let's hope this goes better than the last couple of days. Yes, let's. Partners don't lie to one another, and partners don't run off mid-investigation, and partners do not go through my purse, find my phone, and text photos of my dog to every guy in my address book with the caption, This is you. Not that they were that bad. They were horrific. If you think that I'm going to be a third wheel to you and Kim with one eye, then you're nuts. I'm bringing my own date. Ooh. I know this is totally short notice, but I was wondering if uh, uh, you'd like to be my date. Juliet? You nailed it on the first guess. It's tight. Are you asking me out next to a dead person? I'm not worried. It's a lock. She'll say yes. Saturday. Uh, I would love to. Uh, I think it's time to roll the dice. But I literally just made plans with someone else. I barely know Declan. Well, I fudged a few qualifications and I gave it a shot and turns out I have a gift. I will reschedule with him if you really need a date. Jules, I, I, I don't need a date. I only asked you that because I thought you might be looking for something to do this weekend. You, know? but you better damn well tell Juliet. She's into you. Cool, yeah, I'm into her. She's awesome. Good. She's not the kind of girl you mess with, all right? She's the real deal. It's silly for anyone to keep a giant secret about themselves from someone they could potentially fall for, you know? You either tell her you're a fake criminal profiler or I will. You do that, and then I'll be forced to tell her you're not a real psychic. I do, actually. So, I'm gonna come clean. Here's the thing. <laughs> I was thinking about doing the same thing. I'm a fraud. What? Thinking maybe it's time. Wow. I don't know what to say. Let's uh, talk about it. I'm glad you beat me to the punch. I can't thank you enough, man. It does really bother me that you would lie like that, but I'm also just blown away that you could be just so forthcoming. It took a lot of guts. I'm hung up on the fact that you've been obsessed with this woman this whole time. She makes the ultimate move on you. You shut her down? What's wrong with you? Use the last of your shampoo. Sean. I know, it doesn't make any sense. I see what happened here. Juliet was driving in the area, she spilled something on herself. She dropped by and asked if she could use the facilities. No, Sean. I slept here. And then I woke up here. And then I took a shower. All I can tell you is that just now, in that moment, all I could think about was Jules. 
I just can't wrap myself around the fact that she's dating Declan. I have an amazing trip. You think I don't want her to be happy? I want her to be happy. Promise me. A serious Sean moment here. Take lots of pictures. Not of sights. Don't take pictures of buildings. Take pictures of moments. I want to be happy too. Did you tell her yet? Capture him here. And hold on to him here. For some reason, I can't imagine that happening without Juliet. At least that's what I would do. <laughs> I don't know, you, you, you might take blurry photos of, of your espresso at some random cafe. You see, the thing is, I, I want to tell her that I like her. Tell her. Tell her now. Really more than like. Tell her five minutes from now. She goes off to Italy. Oh, um, she asked me to get her passport updated. She needed it today. With a guy who's rich, who is crazy about her. She already left? I think so. She ain't coming back with any doubts. You came here, to Vancouver. I need to speak with you, though. Can I come in? Why? Before you make any major life decisions, can we please sit down and talk? I broke up with Declan. I just can't do this right now. Flossy, where's Juliet? Anytime later, you name it, we can schedule it. She went to go clear her head. What am I, our social secretary? Don't bother. Can we not do this right now? Jules, can I just say what I, what I came here to say, please? The way things are. Since I met you? It's okay. I've been thinking about getting a car. I just really need to sort this out on my own right now. And you're not thinking something practical or God, no, I'm sensible. Not throwing in the towel altogether. <laughs> Couples are supposed to have their hands all over each other at this stage. Oh, sorry. We never do this. We should make a plan in case everyone finds out and we can't work cases together anymore. Maybe we should adjourn somewhere else? Yes. It is your fault that rule is in place. If I hadn't had Lassie's affair with this old partner, you wouldn't be here. She's very lucky I came back. I had no idea what a major role I played in her career development. Let's move to the cot. Do you know who's been on that cot? Do you know what they've done? You know what? Maybe now's not the time. I have a flight in an hour. That is such an incredible buzzkill. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. No touching in the police station. Wait a minute. I have a room. I hooked up with Juliet. So? The important thing is that it is now out in the open. That is an exact replica of Kelly McGillis' leather jacket from Top Gun. I can wear it tonight. It's nice to finally have some alone time. It is. No more sneaking around, no more secrets. Labradoodle! Where? Well, you know we're not really alone, Sean. We should go. What do you say we get out of here? I'm in. You should start taking this training seriously. It's for your own good. I'm doing this to protect you. I suggested the Academy to protect you. Just so you know, if you go to prison, Sean, I will not wait for you. You won't have to. I'll escape. We both know that. Sean, I'm a little concerned. I know. I was kidnapped. You still believe this girl? Why do you think that this is you? I don't think. I know. Why is it so hard for you to imagine? I can't write this. You of all people. You have me now. You afraid to believe her? I would protect you. Oh my god, are you alright? Yeah. I will protect you right back. You should see her. I'll see you tonight. Are you currently or have you ever been in a relationship with anyone at the station? Lassie, we both know what this is about. This is about me and Julia. I don't have time for this. We're together. You hate it. I get it. I, I can't help it, man. I've Spencer. been fighting this thing for years. It's not just going to go away. Stop. I'm just going to have to deal with the fact that I love her, okay? If... Should we talk about what happened yesterday? I didn't get any sleep last night. Aren't you going to say anything about the phone call you made to me? It's, it's kind of a huge deal. No. Not really. You Lassie asked me to move Williams. in with you. Move in? So if you can look me in the eye and tell me that today Sean definitely wants to move in. We've only been together for like four months. That's what I thought. The fact that any version of Sean wanted to move in is... Minty? I was gonna say romantic. You being locked up in here makes me queasy, Sean. That I was concerned Sean really might be unstable. What if they don't let you out? This was my fear. My worst nightmare is coming true. Jules. Oh, don't worry, Jules. It's nice here. It really is, isn't it, Bernie? Sean. Yeah? We're going. Okay. Okay, Jules. We're nervous about three things. Gary Busey. Gary Busey. And your 30th birthday. You already got a card. Who's it from? My dad. He's in L.A. and... I'm dating your daughter. Sir. He wants to come up and see me for my birthday. Miss O'Hara, I am here to broker a reunion between father and daughter. Oh, it's fantastic.
fantastic. I'll add him to the list. Don't add him to the list. Julia has a problem, and as the man, your father's coming to your birthday. I arranged the whole thing. It's my job to fix it. You did what? Okay, you know. <laughs> These people got everything back that was stolen from them. So what does that have? So you get your reward. Thank you for this, Sean. Your heart was always in the right place. Taking the lady to a spa weekend. You are growing up right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Look, Jules, I know that you have very definite expectations for this weekend. We're going to have fun, relax. I just think this trip is important for us. It's, it's our first time out of the SBPD bubble, and we'll see how we really are as a couple. I'm very fond of you. Me too, you. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, no work. For two whole days, I am not a cop, and you are not a psychic. Very excited. Me too. Now let's go have fun. We were robbed. Sean and I were hoping to work on this one together. Lassie, I can see you! We're in the sky! We commandeered a balloon from the tour desk! Why? Well, it's a romantic weekend away. We'll take any alone time we can get. I'm gonna kiss you on the mouth. Mmm. Mmm. One Nintendo DS. I know that you're looking for commitment. And... and the M-word. Why would you bring a video game on an adult's vacation? You didn't think that when I said definite expectations that I meant... I believe this is one of the items stolen from Mr. Spencer's room. No. I'm not ready to get married. You want to explain this? Are you? You're actually ready to be married? No. Oh, God, no. Well, someday, maybe. Thank you for being so much smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sean, what's going on here? What are you doing here? We don't have a case. No case, no money. So I'm just trying to raise a little cash to pay you back. Gus and I are investigating Todd Kramer's car crash. I think my charms may prove too much for her to resist. But Jules, Win this thing. You kiss or you die. Off the show. Now. Sean, why are you showing us this? I just wanted to show you proof that I carried myself like a gentleman and did the right thing. I have a girlfriend. It's nice. It's nice that you're in my life. And things are going really well. She always. Sean, you okay? Guys, I think you're gonna have to keep me to a hospital. I'm standing by my side. Am I gonna die? Yes. Someday. But not from this. Feels good. I'll check in on you later. Feels right. Be back on my feet in no time. What's the case? Three long years in a big house. Not the clink. For a crime he didn't commit. Why? Faulty eyewitness testimony. Unfair justice system and... Me. I just think that we clearly have different opinions about it. <sighs> clearly. Did you, did you really mean it when you said you weren't going to take me working with Thane personally? Yes. And I don't want it to be an issue between us if we don't see eye to eye on a case or a suspect or whatever. Uh, I can't talk to you. You know what? Let's just, let's just finish our dinner and not talk about work or the mantis. And we should probably cancel dinner because that'll just be awkward. Yeah. I'll call you later. Yep. Okay. Mwah. Oh, don't forget to Tebow the voice. Yeah, yeah, I got it. We got Carl. Yeah, he's been a slippery one, but we finally got him. I'll tell you when as soon as we get back. <laughs> Jules. Oh, God. Thank you. What was that for? I was just thinking about how worried you always are when you think I'm in danger. Jules! Hey, hey, hey. hey. I came as soon as I heard. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. Fingers. Jules! Oh, thank God. My single greatest fear used to be that something would happen to me. My second greatest fear is that something would happen to Gus. I'm gonna stick around here for a while, at least till we solve this thing. Thank you, but I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Clearly all of that has changed. Just let me, please. You know what, why don't you stay at my place tonight? Take your things home tomorrow. Okay. Okay, that's cool. We need a drawer, though. Well, then you're never gonna wanna leave. I'm sorry, Henry. You're delirious. You've been awake for 36 hours. The worst possible thing you could do. Goodbye, Sean. Is get involved with this case. Just remember, you're not going through this alone. So you know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? So the next time you decide to risk your life, remember that there's someone that loves you who's worried sick. I've got the greatest girlfriend ever. I had no idea that you were so rugged and outdoorsy. Well, that is because you said fastly refused to go hiking, camping, or mountain biking with me, Sean. 
Jules, you're so badass. <laughs> but I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna move in. I think it's time that we moved in together. With my dad. Home should be wherever you are. First of all, there is no longer a you. That's where I want to be. It's just us. We live as one now. Considering that Juliet and I are the lone couple in the group, we should start thinking of a singular name that covers both of us. I think it's only fair that we, there's also Schules, have our own grade. I feel the exact same way. Yeah, we're not doing that. Live with me. Shower caddy from McNabb. Keep a return. OK. Could use it to store the his and her exfoliating bath gloves in pink and baby blue that Gus gave us. I say keep. You're invited, lucky you, to a party, whoop de doo Bello Rosa Mansion. Tonight, 7 p.m., RSVP now. Sean Spencer and Juliet O'Hara are in. Are you sure you're okay with what we talked about earlier on the phone? Hello, Sean. Hi. Yeah. What are they doing here? Sean, you said you were cool with this. I'm totally cool with that. Thank you. Mm. Mwah. Mwah. It better be temporary. You want to tell her? We, we got, got engaged. engaged! Then it's just you and me. Of course. I'll tell you when it's good. It's nothing like it. It's pure, uncomplicated. Uncomplicated? You better put your arms in or you won't be able to use oh. them. Oh. <clears throat> what? Say cheese or something. Oh. Cheese or something. Can't say I'm familiar with that concept. <laughs> That's because you're a Spencer. Sean, I need to ask you something. I'm just saying it'd be nice to see you break the cycle. Dude, what happened? There was this. She knows falling in love with you was never part of the plan, okay? This whole thing started because my ass was on the line. You told her? <laughs> Are you telling me this is all a lie? It's worse. It didn't. Please don't make me answer that. She found out? This... You all right? What do you think? My heart feels like wet toilet paper, I guess. I, I, I think maybe you're making too much of this. You rescued me. I'm a cop, Sean. Our entire relationship is based on lies. And laughter, and laser tag, and love. I love you. Yeah, you do. God. Sean? I have been obsessively replaying Lester's wedding in my head. I love you more than Joni loved Chachi, kids loved tricks, and Bert loved Ernie. Allegedly. So suck on that. I will not. You will. You're right. You win. Your love reigns supreme over all the land. Yeah, it does. If I just hadn't given you my jacket. What is this? Oh, that's the cheese pashmina. Well, I'm sure she would not want you to be cold. Oh, thank you. Everything would still be OK. Let's hold hands and scratch each other's bellies. I'm in. <laughs> what do you think a Spencer O'Hara wedding would look like? Yes. But you did give me your jacket. And I know you don't think it's a big deal. But don't you think it would be nice if there was someone hanging around the house who could remind you to be a little more cautious? The more I think about it, the angrier I get. I appreciate your concern for my well-being, but I can take care of myself. What does that mean exactly? Though I should do a better job of figuring out who people really are. I think you should move out. I'm not just going to give up on us. All right? Are you okay? Are you okay? No more roommates. No, not after all this. Really? I seem to recall a... One roommate in particular that you were quite fond of. I'm not going to brunch at the mayor's house with you. We're broken up. I'm here for the same reasons you are. What? You're running for mayor? To investigate Swaggerty based on the new evidence. That's it. I thought we took a small step forward. Well, I thought we did too. And then I see you up there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. And it's a solid reminder of all the issues I have with you. Too bad for you, you don't dance. Yeah. Too bad. It's just a charade. You have the right partner. There's nothing you can't do. Where was the Sean Spencer when we were dating? He's right here. It's very simple. You have to tell the chief. Sean, when I first asked you to tell the chief the truth and you declined... No, Jules. That's not gonna happen. I just thought you were being selfish. This is, this is what I have, Jules. This is how I do good. Not for everyone. But then you were actually going to tell her. It hit me. What I'm saying is that I'm sorry. If I let you go through with this. I'm not actually. He's covering for me. 
I'd be the one being selfish, wouldn't I? Should we just do it? Easy. Not ready to get back together. Now that we're uh, back in the saddle in ye old homestead. Sean, it's still my homestead and nothing is back yet. I mean, there's still an issue of trust here. I can't. Last night was a one-time thing. We're adults. Right. It happens. Right. Just flip a switch. Honest Sean has something tiny to disclose. Well, you just tell me when you're ready because I'm going to be waiting. I've made a decision. Dude! I've got huge news. I would like to remain in the dark when it comes to the ways you guys go about solving your cases. Jules and I are back together again, officially. She made me work for it, but I came all the way back. Cyrus is innocent. I don't care what Spencer says. Look, I know you don't trust him, okay? But I do. She couldn't resist this forever. I came back to say goodbye. I've accepted a position up north. Bay Area. You'll be bumped up to head detective when Lassie gets promoted to chief. Chief Vic asked me to be her head detective. Naturally, I'll get a title bump as well. But, you know, if Carlson's promoted, I'm, I'm looking at the same opportunity here. Something like, uh, first lover in the nighttime, hmm? Maybe a little bit of bacon? Plus, I'm here. Oh, right. Plus, you're here, of course. We're giving some real serious consideration to taking that job. I mean, it's really a no-brainer, which is why, as flattering as it is, I'm, I'm not really considering it. <laughs> nope. I've made up my mind. I'm going with Karen. Are you sure? I want you to come to San Francisco. I do. When you're ready, okay? Come when you're ready. And it is all gonna be okay. We're gonna do whatever it takes. I can't do this anymore. It's too hard. It's... It's freaking impossible. Whatever it takes. Love is even more difficult for me than it is for you. What are you saying? I am saying that I'm going. But there is a woman in this courtroom right now. Jules! To move up there. I'm here. To be with you. Son! A little slice. Blonde perfection. A perfectly formed beignet. Lightly dusted with powdered sugar. I am done cowering from the big decisions. First time that I saw her, I had a vision. I've wanted this for long enough. That we would be married. Is this the time? If I ever do pop the question, I want you on one side, Jules on the other. You bet your ass it is. I know that I come with baggage and a best friend who's not going anywhere ever. But I promise you that from this moment forward, the only running that I will be doing is into your arms. And I will never stop holding your cold little hands or losing myself when I wake up in the morning and look at you and recognize how freaking lucky I am. Just marry me so that I can show you how amazing our life will be together. Yes. Yes, I will marry the crap out of you, Sean Spencer. Now give me the ring. I am looking for an engagement ring. It's easy to notice that you don't wear a ring. Oh, oh my God! God! It's my ring and it was stolen from me while I was proposing. I am in no rush. You ever consider that maybe you're just using the ring as an excuse to cover your fear of change? I just think the question is how long are you gonna wait? We already have a case. Why are you here? To offer our services. I've been texting you and calling you. Where have you been? I know I have been acting strange. Your offer is lovely, but the answer is no. And don't push me on this. And I see you out, but the truth is, I asked you guys not to meddle in this case. Please, just go home. I'm scared, and I need your help. I feel like Sam's blood is on my hands, and I have no one to blame but myself. Hey, hey, and hey. You always have my back. Because that's how we do it. I love these hands especially the right one because that's the one i generally hold because we are an us we are a we we are we are lovers in the nighttime i like to walk on the left you do like to walk on the left you're a lefty walker they call that south foot i'm a south foot you're a south foot i should help you unwind huh maybe maybe a little bit of bacon i hope i'm wrong i have a gift for you what is that and i hope it's with sean I should have married Jules three years ago. I'm ready! You are? Oh, hell yes. She deserves better than me, Gus. You've been so patient. No, Sean. She deserves the best version of you. And I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for you. I don't buy into this whole husband and kids thing. Let's just call a lift and go to Vegas right now. I'm ordained. I do. Marriage is a contractual obligation that the state mandated centuries ago when wives were considered property. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Juliet Spencer O'Hara. Juliet Spencer O'Hara. I need to talk to you about dinner. I'm gonna wrap both of us 
in your favorite green Snuggie. <gasps> and we're gonna be in there for a while. So don't be silly, I already have something in motion. That's amazing, and tonight's gonna be a night we remember forever. Will you marry me? Only if we can have toast and jelly beans for dinner every night. Deal. You will not shoot my wife. When did you all start trying to have a baby? I don't know, Gus. She's pregnant. I thought we were waiting. I'm not pregnant. The pregnancy test is mine. Sure you're not upset about the whole no kid thing? Praise be. Oh, not even a little. Oh, I love you. Oh, yeah. You're my person. Yeah.